First step, open up the shortcut menu. You'll see there that there's nothing there when you create a new profile. So we can close that down now. And now what we do is open up inputs and add the inputs that you want to add. In this particular case, we're going to add a video file. And we're also going to add, go and add an audio file as well. So the next, the next step there is to clear the settings on the audio file so that we can play it under any video that's, that's there uh, without it automatically turning off uh, when we change or transition it. Just a little tip. To, if you're going to run them. Now we open the shortcut menu again. to start to add some shortcuts. The first thing is we click on the Edit button. This will bring up the Edit window. We add at this stage, add a shortcut and go find it. I'm going to use the number 1 which will, as you can see, was D1 there. Now you associate that shortcut with a function and with the input. You can add uh, text that will appear on the buttons. And I've chosen, I've chosen to uh, set it as a local input. So this is going to be just for this preset only. Now we'll do the same thing and set up another one. The audio setting here that I've chosen will be an on-off function. If you wanted to, you could have uh, could set uh, separate buttons with on and off. I'm just going to use the one button. Color is optional. at this point. Okay, so that's all done. Now, we just simply bring up the shortcut menu as well. So we'll just get some stuff going. There it is, opening up the shortcuts. And now you'll see the audio is turning on and turning off with the, the press of the button there. And again, we can do the same thing for any live source, whether it's uh, whether it's a uh, a live camera or uh, or a video or a microphone input. Now, in this demo, I've only got the one monitor attached, and I'm only recording the one. But these windows can move to any other display as well. So we'll add another we'll add another input. It'll be another audio input. And again we'll do the same thing. So now we add the additional shortcut in exactly the same way. Add, find the button, D3, uh, it'll be the number 3, set the function, associate it with the input, add some te alt text and set the colour. And again, we're going to set it as a local shortcut. 
So it's just for this preset. So this time when we open up the the uh, loop controller, there are three options there as well. Now another another alternative is to use the web controller. This can be called from any any uh, computer on on the network that can access your um, main computer. And that's the, you can see there the, the instructions there. You find your IP address. Uh, and we're looking for port 8080. Now to find it, your IP address, you go to the settings. And web controller, that'll tell you what it is. Another way of, of uh, doing exactly the same thing is that you can use third-party tool called Panel Builder. So you go to the web, the uh, vMix forum to do that, but I've already downloaded it. I'll just find it in my uh, archives. And we're using the latest build. And this is just an executable, so this could actually be on a USB stick if you really wanted to. So you could load it onto any PC that you have uh, rights to load things on. First thing to do is to set the vMix address. So you can see there I've already set it. And this is where we find it in vMix. You don't have to put the port number in because the tool automatically looks for that port. Now we add start to add uh, buttons and controls to the screen. So we're just going to choose a colored button at the moment. We'll, what we'll do is we'll just stretch the button out a fraction because I want to put a bit of text on there. And we're going to choose the function in the same way as we did before we'll choose the input again you'll notice there that if you get uh, no drop down here we need to go up and check that we have connected through to vmix so the little icon at the top should be green the way you do it is put your cursor in the ip address box and hit enter and now you can see that the button has gone green now we have the de the inputs, so we'll choose those. Um, we're going to now go and add some text to the button. You can see this is being done live. And again, you can put as much text in there as you want to. We're going to change the color to red, which is the traditional color used for on air and there it is now to create additional buttons with the same size and so on we're going to clone it and we'll clone it three times because we've got three inputs now to change the properties just simply highlight the the input that you want to change and change the settings So press escape to exit edit. Now to make certain that the connection is set, uh, you may need to press e uh, edit again and then escape. Just as we've said before, you can move to a second monitor to keep uh, the window visible at any point in time. You can also set that uh, on the preferences menu where it allows you to always have the window on top. Essentially what you're looking at there is a web page. And now as we 
open it and close it, you'll see that the tally lights have gone off. And now if you're watching to the bottom left as we press the buttons, the uh, audio is turning on and off. Now what we're going to do is just to, to add some faders there as well. So I'll add a fader. And again, what we're going to do is set that to the input and then clone and reset so you can lay this you can lay it out however you want to with this tool which is really useful Now again, just set the uh, input, press escape, again press edit, press escape, and now, importantly, save the preset. After you've done all that work, save the preset, but you'll see there, as we turn each button on, it turns on in vMix. And we can use the fader to adjust the volume. Visual representation both in vMix and on, on this tool here. Which as I said could be run on a separate PC. As long as you've got access on the network and, the, and you've allowed port 8080 through the firewall. You should be good to go. And there it is. See you next time.